Welcome back. This week, we're replacing this broken signal lamp in the passenger side external rear view mirror of a 2019 Ford Transit van. First things first, before I started this project, I went to look for a part number for our broken signal lamp. You can use one of the many Ford OEM replacement websites that exist. They do a good job of giving you an exploded diagram of the mirror assembly and its associated parts. Careful here, you wanna make sure you get the part number for your particular side. In my case, it's the passenger side, but the driver's side does have a different part number. Also, I'm just getting the part number here. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna order from this website. I'm gonna order from wherever gives me the best deal. And I think I ended up ordering this one off of eBay, as a matter of fact. Next step is to check the Ford service manual for this particular vehicle just to see what steps are involved in the process. I scroll down to the external rear view mirror section and take a look at the installation and removal procedure. And finding the long arm mirror, I notice that uh, we may be in luck here. It looks like it's a rather simple procedure. We just have to pop the top and bottom mirrors off. It looks like there's a few connectors there if you have the heated mirrors and then also a connector for the signal lamp bulb and that's about it. And then uh, it's as simple as replacing the broken part with the new part and reattaching it with the screws, popping the mirrors back on. So let's go. A few days later and the new part has arrived. Quick visual inspection in comparison to the old part. Looks like I ordered the right part. They sent the right part and it's for the passenger side. So we're all good. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult to catch on camera. So what I'm going to do here is open the passenger side door, roll down the window and position the camera through the window frame in order to try to catch this. I also got to make sure the cameras are not in my way because I've got to reach in there and pop these mirrors off. Okay, I start by positioning the mirror so that I can get my fingers or a non-marring pry tool behind the mirror to pop it off. Now in the service manual, it says to move the mirror so that the gap is on the outside. Now what you see me doing here is moving the mirror to where the gap is on the inside. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to get a video here and it's easier for me to video pulling from the inside. Just note, if you do it this way, you're going to have to be careful. There are some connectors for the heated mirror. Work your fingers in behind the gap that you just created and with slight pressure, just pop the mirror off. Disconnect the heated mirror wires if you have them. Here's a view of the back of the mirror and you can see the attachment ring here just has some clips that snap together to the mirror motor. On the bottom half of the mirror, I'm using a non-marring removal tool. Here you see the back of the lower mirror and it has a similar ring that just snaps together. Now we have access to the two plastic screws that affix the signal lamp to the mirror. I grab my T10 Torx bit to remove the screws. There's only two. Then I position myself in front of the mirror and give it a firm tug outwards and the signal lamp pops out. Careful here not to yank on it too hard. You do have the wiring connector for the bulb. All right, one half of the job completed. And here's our freshie, time to install it. Reverse the procedure and start by plugging in the bulb. You can't mess this one up, it's keyed. Give the lamp a firm push to seat it in the mirror. Let's give it a quick test before we reassemble everything and figure out it's not working. Looks good. Reinsert the two plastic screws and tighten. We'll attach the lower mirror by inserting the bottom first and applying pressure to the center of the mirror to snap it back together. Next, we reconnect the heated mirror wires. 
Then reattach the upper mirror using a similar process as we used on the lower. Job complete and it looks brand new. I'm satisfied. That'll wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed the content. And just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.